Center Encoder is a neat little app that you can use to convert and download videos. It's got a lot of other nice little features as well. It's available for Windows and Mac and it's free and open source. So let's check it out. Once installed, you should see something like this when you first open it up. Click here to browse for media files such as video and audio or just drag the files here in this box. I've got a couple of videos here and I want to convert this clip of one into a different format. And under choose function, you have a whole bunch of things that you can do with Shutter Encoder, such as cutting or trimming the video without re-encoding, which is very useful. You can replace the audio with a video file, merge videos, which we'll look at, along with various formats that you can convert to. We've got WAV, FLAC, MP3, AAC, Opus, Orbis. You've got editing codecs and output codecs. I want to convert this to AV1, so I'll select AV1. Then it opens up this little editor window where you can trim down the video, but I want to convert the entire video, so I'll just leave it the way it is. If you want to change the function, you can do so here. You can change the container. I'll set it to MKV. Set some output options. Maybe you want to add a suffix or create a subfolder. Down here, you can set your decoder and encoder, hardware acceleration, and so on. I'll set these to the auto. On this right side here, you can set the resolution, rotate, force and aspect ratio, adjust the bitrate quality, variable or constant, along with audio settings for the video, image cropping, you can add a time code, and my favorite, image adjustments. You can adjust things like the exposure, the whites, the blacks, the midtones, all these things you can modify and get a preview of. RGB, so you've got a lot of options of how you want to modify the video and the output. Once you're done adjusting these settings, Go ahead and hit start function and watch as Shutter Encoder goes ahead and converts the video. The conversion is complete and I can see the MKV video file here, which is much smaller. Now let's look at converting audio. So I'll drag this FLAC file here that I have. I want to convert it to MP3. You'll notice that depending on the task or function here, the options that you have available on the right will change as well. Clicking on the timeline, you can go through and seek through the audio. So I'll go ahead and keep this and hit start function. And I now have my MP3 file. Super simple and easy for converting video and audio. Let's look at trimming video in a little bit more detail. So I have this clip here and I'll say cut without re-encoding. And you can use the timeline here to drag on the part of the video that you want to keep. I find that dragging a timeline like this isn't very accurate. Luckily, you can set the start and end timestamps for more precise trim. I'm just using the up and down arrows to change these values. And then go ahead and hit start function. And this chops up the video without re-encoding, which means you don't lose any quality. Let's look at merging multiple videos. So I've got these two clips here and they're both similar resolution, same codec, and when you want to merge videos, you want to make sure that the videos are in fact the same quality, resolution, codec, and so on. Otherwise, the output might not be correct. So we'll go ahead and say merge. Available options here for converting the audio, preserving metadata, and then hit start function. I'll save this as clip three. And very quickly, it combines the two into one video. So we got the first clip going on here. Then we have our second clip. Let's say you have a video file that has audio that you'd like to grab just the audio of. I'll go ahead and drag this clip, which has some audio and I'll go to extract. You can extract just the video, audio. I'm going to say audio and it creates this M4A file, which I don't have opened in pop player. So I now have the extracted audio. And if you wanted to, you can convert the video audio to mp3 as well, or maybe Vorbis, and that would also work. Let's look at downloading video. So I'm on documentary storm here, and I'll just copy the URL. There's a documentary here, and I can go here and under function, we'll go all the way down to download web video. Put in the URL, you can set the quality, you can download as mp3 or wave, and here's the best part. Let's say you're on a members only website. You can supply your username and password along with the URL the video is on and Shutter Encoder will go ahead and download that video, even if it's encrypted. In this drop down, you can set the resolution to download, best video, best audio, and then start function. 
All right, the video is downloaded. Guns found here. I have the MP4 video file that I downloaded straight from the website. I've got it at the highest quality of 4096 by 2160. And now I can watch this little documentary offline on any device. If you like my content, consider becoming a YouTube member. Get early access to new content or consider becoming a Patreon member and get access to exclusive content too hot for YouTube.